So recently the guys over Asahi Linux released the first Asahi Linux Alpha. Now I've already made a video about this, but I thought, why not? It's not ready for me to daily drive just yet, but I wanted to try the installer to see what it's like. So as you can see, we're here on my M1 Mac, and we're going to go ahead and give this a go. So apparently it's actually quite simple. All you really need to do is run this command and then do what the installer tells you to do. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I've gone ahead and run the command inside of a terminal, so I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to disable expert mode because I'm no expert by any means. And apparently it's sorting everything out. So we're going to resize an existing partition to make space for a new OS. And I guess I'm going to shrink it down to, uh, let's say minimum. So shrink the Mac OS partition as much as safely possible. And apparently that will free up 98 gigabytes of space. That's more than good enough. So let's go ahead and run this. Now I doubt I'm going to be able to continue recording while it does this since it will need to resize the boot partition. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the recording while it does this. And there we go, the partition resize has finished. So let's go ahead and hit enter to continue, and it's collecting partition information. So let's install an OS into the free space. And we have three options. We can either install the Asahi Linux desktop, which gives you an Arch desktop with KD Plasma and that kind of thing. Asahi Linux Minimal, which is basically just Arch Linux ARM, which is probably what I would go with if I was going to daily drive this, because I don't actually like the Plasma desktop. And finally, we've got the UEFI environment only, which is useful if you want to install some distribution that isn't the Asahi Linux official distribution thing. So for instance that's Debian and I think there's a few other distributions that are in the works. So for now we're just going to go ahead and install the Asahi Linux desktop so you can see it. Hit enter again and let's say it'll fill the maximum size it can. Let's call it Asahi Linux and it's going ahead and downloading everything that it needs and it's installing it. And there we go it's gone ahead and done what it needs to do. So now it's continuing the installation and I assume in a little bit we should be able to boot into the new partition that it's created. And there we go, apparently the installation was successful. So now we have to complete one more step apparently. So we've got to hit enter to continue. Let's see what happens when we do. And there we go, it's given us some instructions to read here. Essentially, we have to boot into the Asahi Linux partition, and once we hit enter, it's going to go ahead and shut down the system. So I'm going to stop the recording now and do what it says. Okay, so here we are with the iMac. Let's go ahead and do what the installer says and see what happens. So we have to turn it on and press and hold the power button. And there we go, it's loading startup options. And as you can see, there is Asahi Linux, so let's go ahead and boot into that. And there we go, it's booting it up. And we can see that we're in the Mac OS recovery, which is what the Asahi Linux partition is supposed to do. And there we go, as you can see up here, it's running step two of the installer. So we have to press enter to continue, enter our password, and away we go. The second part of the installer is now running. And now it's asking us if we want to install a custom boot object. We're going to say yes. And we need to put in our username and password, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there we go. The installation has completed. So now we just have to go ahead and press enter to reboot. And here we go. Asahi Linux should now reboot. And there we go. We have the Asahi Linux logo. And it should now load into the ARM or rather the Arch desktop that Asahi Linux have made. So there we go, we have the grub screen. So I assume we just hit enter on this, and it seems like it's already done it for us. And there we go, that's Linux on an M1 Mac. So we have the familiar Calamares installer here, so we're going to go ahead and run through this. And as you can see, my mouse is recognised. So let's go ahead and go through this installer. So I need British English. Next, I am in the UK. Next again, it's going to ask us for our keyboard layout. I'm going to select UK Cold Mac. It's asking us for a username and a computer name. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in. And there we go. We are now ready to click setup. So let's go ahead and set this up. And as you can see, it's configuring everything. And that was really quick. So let's go ahead and hit done and see what happens. 
And there we go, that sure looks like a full KDE Plasma Linux desktop on M1. Now, currently there isn't GPU acceleration or anything like that, so it's not usable for me, but I've got to say, just seeing this on here is pretty cool. Although it does look like we need to increase the scaling because everything seems to be very small. But first impressions seem pretty good of this. So, with that said, that's my look at the Asahi Linux first alpha release. I've got to say, I'm very impressed. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.